Hello, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to Bio for You. Okay, um, in this video, um, I'm going to continue with the deviation of Mendelian inheritance, uh, specifically until multiple alleles for this chapter of genetic inheritance, i.e. chapter 4. Okay, let's have a look. All right. So, genetic inheritance, what we would expect to learn from this chapter is um, deviations from the Mendelian inheritance. Okay, what we have learned previously um, in 4.1 is that um, we have studied about uh, Mendelian inheritance, Mendelian first law and Mendelian second law. So, that is for most of the cases of genetic inheritance, yaitu pewarisan genetic ini secara umumnya akan ikut Mendel's first law and second law. However, there are six conditions as being listed here that does not follow the Mendelian inheritance or Mendel's law. Okay, so what are those six uh, deviations? We call these deviations. Okay, the first one is co-dominant alleles. The, uh, the second one is incomplete dominant alleles, multiple alleles, polygene, linked gene, and sex-linked genes. Okay, so... Alright, I have a diagram, uh, I have a photo in this uh, slide over here. So, the question is, is this a co-dominant or incomplete dominant? Okay, they might sound confusing and they might sound, um, uh, even the appearance as well is uh, confusing to you. Okay, so this first photo here, I have pink camellia um, flower crossed with white camellia flower. You have here spotted of white and red flower and red flower crossed with white flower we have some part of the flower is red and some part is white okay for uh, on the other hand the anterinum uh, plant uh, sp uh, which is the snapdragon flower okay um, it has this one is a pink in color this one is uh, white and this one is red okay so uh, another question, alright, co-dominant or incomplete dominant? So, uh, radish is a type of plant um, when we have spher spherical shaped radish and cross with long radish and what we have F, uh, for the offspring is an oblong radish, i.e. a mixture between the spherical and long. Alright, so I would say this one is um, incomplete dominant. Okay. And now let's let us uh, look in detail what is um, co-dominant alleles. Okay, so now we need to learn from the term itself. Okay, so adhere to this word dominant. Okay, so means that um, and co-dominant. So means co means um, saling or bekerjasama. Okay, no one is winning, so both are going to win. Both are dominant. Both are going to win, and both will both characteristics will be expressed. Okay, it is a condition when both alleles of a gene pair are fully expressed, means both are being expressed in the heterozygous condition. Okay, in the original setting or in the original situation where we have a dominant allele crossed with a um, recessive allele, always the dominant allele being represented or being expressed or being shown. Okay, so but for co dominant allele. Both are winning. Both are will be, uh, both will be expressed. So the heterozygous and homozygous individuals have different phenotypes. Okay, for example, the MN blood group in human. Okay, commonly human blood group are being um, classified based on ABO blood group system. I.e., there are people with um, A blood group, B blood group, AB blood group or O blood group. However, there are another classification system for human blood group using the MN classification system. So, alright, we look uh, on this uh, example. Okay, so um, it will determine by two alleles, okay, uh, LM and also LN. So, LM will express antigen M whereas LN will express antigen N. What is antigen? It is a protein found on the surface of the red blood cell. So antigen is a specific molecule located on the surface of the red blood cell. So this antigen M, antigen N. So human, if they are um, uh, the, having the genotype LM, LM, the phenotype I observable on the red blood cell is only M with M antigen. 
if the person is um, having the genotype LNLN, so the phenotype, I mean, what could be observed when we observe the uh, red blood cell only having the N antigen, whereas if it is a uh, uh, having genotype of LMLN, so the phenotype will be MN. Okay, the system will be uh, the phenotype will be MN and will be observable M mixture with N on the surface of the red blood cell. Okay, so this is another example of co dominance. Okay, so um, when we what we see here, there is a um, white part uh, the, the flower is having white color uh, sorry a uh, red color and also a pink color mixture they are not blend in okay so um, here is the example of co-dominant in camellia plant okay we have the red flower crossed with white flower and we have here red white flower okay spotted at some part of the plant uh, some part of the flower is white some part of the flower is red Okay, so yep, this is the uh, plant, the camellia plant. Another example is in uh, cattle. Okay, when we have the white cattle crossed with the red uh, cattle, what we have is a roan. Roan is a coat color that is a mixture of white and uh, of white and pigmented. Hair pigmented means with the uh, brown or the red color spotted all over the body of the cattle. Okay. So, um, in chicken, we also can observe this where we have the black uh, fur chicken crossed with um, uh, white fur chicken and for the offspring, as a result, we have the checkered color, uh, checkered fur chicken. Okay, checkered means blang blang, uh, hitam putih, hitam putih. Okay, now we move on to the second one, incomplete dominance. Okay, this might be similar with the first one, co-dominant, but incomplete. Incomplete means no one is winning. Okay, so it's a condition when dominant allele does not completely inhibit the expression of recessive allele in the heterozygous condition. Means bila kita campurkan yang dominant dengan um, yang recessive ni, yang dominant dia tidak fully um, inhibit yang recessive ni maknanya dia tidak juga fully menang ok so phenotype of a heterozygous individual is intermediate maknanya is a mixture of both ah ok and homoz uh, homozygous dominant and the homozygous recessive for example is anthurium plant the snapdragon plant flower color ok so actually what we have here is that when we cross the red flower with white color with white flower the result is pink pink is the result of red plus white ok so um, this is how we write the um, incomplete dominance we are using the symbol uh, the big letter capital letter R uh, C here to represent the color R for red and W for white. And please take note that we are not using um, capital R and capital uh, small letter R here. We are using different letters R with W, not R besar, R kecil over here. So the allele C, uh, C with R besar codes for red flower, C white, uh, CW codes for white color. So when we have CR, CR, the color of the plant is red and the uh, color of the flower from the plant is red and CW, CW, the flower is white whereas if we have CR, CW, the color will be pink a mixture of red and white okay, so this diagram also uh, showing you the uh, explanation of what I've mentioned earlier okay, another incomplete dominance when we have the brown horse crossed with the white horse you have a cream uh, color of uh, the horse which is a cream is a mixture of white and brown okay so i hope that you can differentiate the co-dominant and incomplete dominant okay so this one is uh, when we have the red and white cross um, for the result co-dominant will give you this result uh, incomplete dominance will give you the mixture of the color this one is a uh, partially white and partially red Okay, next we look. We're going to look at the third 
um, deviations from Mendelian inheritance, which is multiple alleles. Okay, just now we have discussed about uh, co-dominance and incomplete dominance. Okay, so what is multiple alleles? Okay, it is a condition when one gene control, uh, which control the same character, has more than two alleles, has more than two alternatives. Okay, so what we have commonly here, what we have commonly discussed in this chapter by far, let's say we have, uh, we are discussing about the color of the flower is either red or white and when we're discussing about the shape of the uh, seed of the pea plants is either wrinkled or smooth or round okay and color of the seed whether it's uh, yellow or green but so only have two alternatives only have two alleles but what if if uh, what if it has more than two alleles so that's what we're going to look at multiple alleles so it's a condition or more than two alleles occupy the same gene locus on a pair of homologous chromosome but at a time an individual only has a pair of allele in a single gene maknanya dalam pada satu satu masa tu manusia ataupun um, individu tu hanya boleh buat sepasang sahaja okay even though we have three alleles or more at one time, an individual can only carry two. Of course, one given from the uh, father, one the other one is given from the mother. Okay. Alright. So, for example, is the ABO blood group in human. So, we have three alleles over here. Alright. So, what are the alleles? IA, IB, IO. Ataupun or just small letter I. Okay, so here is the genotype. For example, IAIA will give you the phenotype A blood group. If we have uh, IAIO or I small letter, you also have A blood, uh, blood, uh, blood group. Okay, because um, IA is dominant. And IBIB will give you obviously a B blood group. IB, I small letter or IO is, will give you B. But if it is IAIB, you'll you'll have AB blood group. Uh, and on the other hand, if you have IA, uh, sorry, I small letter, I small letter, um, uh, you have the blood group of O. Okay. So here are the possible combinations. And note that IO is a recessive um, allele, whereas IA and B is co-dominant allele. Means when we say co-dominant both will be expressed equally here a and b it's not a mixture okay it's expressed equally mana ada tumpuk a dan ada tumpuk b gitu okay so here is the situation for this multiple alleles in uh, abo blood group system okay for allele ia it will express the antigen a so maknanya kalau dia ada IA dekat permukaan red blood cell dia akan ada anti protein antigen jenis A. So for the genotype IAIA or IAIO, so we have this uh, representation as the phenotype uh, means it only has antigen A, so the blood group is A. For IB, IB or IBIO, you only have the uh, B antigen on the surface of the red blood cell, so you are blood group B. However, if you are having your genotype IAIB, so you will have both of the antigen A and B, so you are blood group AB. Or if you are having a homozygous um, recessive, i.e., uh, which is I small letter, I small letter, so you will have no A or B antigen on your red blood cell. Okay, so you are blood group O. So you can start to question yourself, which blood group does you belong to? You can ask your parent or you can even, better yet, um, uh, do a visit a clinic and test your blood group and you might be surprised uh, from what you're going to learn. Okay. So here are the list of the reference uh, references again. Alright, so this will be end of this video. Do drop us a like and share this video. And see you on the next video. Alright, thank you.